okay uh, so are we good to go uh, am i audible yes so on my cell phone i am uh, on my cell phone i am keeping the chat box open so whatever your message is there you can post it on that chat box and i i'll be getting your message right shall we start okay. voice is audible screen is visible okay. thank you uh, so firstly sorry for this uh, little delay that we have so uh, let us go ahead with what we have seen till now is the uh, parity check which was uh, specifically done for the flow control as well as error control so initially we have gone for uh, the simplest parity check simplest check uh, whether we have gone for error controlling in parity check then we have seen a two dimensional uh, check for error detection and then lastly we have seen crc for the uh, final way like in which we, there won't be any kind of problem for the error detection so error detection using cyclic redundancy check won't face any kind of problem n number of errors can be detected whatever uh, n number of errors that occur all those errors can be detected and uh, we can uh, go ahead with the error detection and obviously once error detection is there we can go ahead with the uh, transmitting the same stream once again so that we will get rid of whatever the error that has occurred so error correction and uh, detection mechanism will be solved properly by the crc method so we have seen that uh, the system is bit complicated because along with the uh, data world we are say adding few zeros which is depending upon devices and then that will be passed to a generator and generator will uh, give us uh, the value of remainder which we refer as a redundant bits and then those redundant bits along with the data world will travel to together known as code world and exactly reverse process will happen at the receiver side and we will able to uh, go for the error control mechanism in which we will detect the error and then we will retransmit the frame then uh, second uh, responsibility of data link layer is nothing but flow control in flow control we have seen two kinds of controls one is uh, one is for uh, the noisy less channel where the simplest uh, protocols we can use uh, so simplest flow control mechanism where there is no feedback as such we transmit the data and we hope that everything is been received by the receiver and there is no feed through mechanism or there is no feedback taken and uh, everything everything is under the hope that uh, everything is working fine and we will receive the data at the receiving end but unfortunately this kind of system will not work under the noisy channels and because of that uh, whenever noisy channel is there we have to switch back to the next few protocols that those we have seen in that uh, the first one we have seen is stop and wait protocol obviously in noisy channel we have to use stop and wait plus arq that is uh, automatic repeat request so what we have done we have transmit the data and then we will wait till certain acknowledgement comes so that is what stop and wait protocol was then stop and wait with arq was we will wait for the data but the, this waiting time will not be infinity we will wait for certain uh, certain time limit and once that time limit is over we will consider that something went wrong either with the acknowledgement or with the data and because of which our communication has collapsed so we will again transmit the same frame after certain of certain time delay and that is how uh, we work in stop and wait arq now actually stop and wait arq is a very good protocol it is going to uh, resolve the problem of the flow control but uh, the efficiency of stop and wait arq is less so because at a time only one frame will is there in the communication so therefore what we do we go for uh, sliding window protocols in that first protocol we have seen is go back and yen protocol in that uh, how how this go back and yen protocol works we will transmit the data in 
not not as only one frame we will transmit the n number of frames or in our case we have taken w number of frames so we will transmit w number of frames at a time without waiting for the acknowledgement so we will send 1 2 3 up to that we will go up to w and if at all any acknowledgement comes say for example we are sending six frames and acknowledgement till third frame is there so we will slide the window by three number of uh, bits like three number of frames so that we can keep transmitting few more number of frames that is how uh, we increase the efficiency by sending more number of frames without waiting for the acknowledgement then the last one we have seen was the selective repeat protocol in that what we, we what we have uh, what what difference we have found out is in uh, selective repeat we don't send all the frames uh, for which acknowledgement is not received we send only the frames which we have negative acknowledgement so there are two kinds of acknowledgements in uh, selective repeat one is positive acknowledgement and another is the negative acknowledgement then apart from this we have in last lecture we have seen one new concept uh, known as piggybacking now piggybacking is basically uh, so okay fine now just so uh, piggybacking is the process where uh, till now what we have seen we have seen uh, only the uh, half duplex communication that we have a sender and rest others are the receivers they only receive the data they are only uh, there to send acknowledgement signal and rest of the time they are just receiving the data which is sent by the sender side so uh, what will happen in 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 case of piggybacking is if our communication is full duplex so in that case in piggybacking along with the data we also send the acknowledgement signal that is what the difference in case of piggybacking what we do we take maximum use of whatever the message that we are transmitting and efficiency of the network can also be increased how we do this if you want to send frame number 1 from a to b and at the same time if we want to send frame number 1 from b to a so in that case while sending frame number 1 from a to b we will send acknowledgement to b that as uh, you will receive this data kindly send me the frame number 1 also and similarly the b will also send a uh, frame along with the acknowledgement that i have received the first frame now can you please send the second frame so in the message only we send the acknowledgement frame because earlier uh, methods what we have seen we require two kinds of channel where on one channel we send the acknowledgement and on another channel we send the uh, the actual message so for that uh, in in this kind of method in uh, piggybacking we go for uh, transmitting the data uh, along with the acknowledgement so that we don't have to invest extra cost for the sending the acknowledgement and even network efficiency was, uh, also can be increased uh, is it is it clear are we good to go uh, till this i think we have completed now if somebody give me certain remark i can proceed with the next bit known as hdlc okay the pika says yes sir so i will assume that everybody is okay with this and uh, we will proceed with the uh, next uh, bit known as hdlc now hdlc stands for high level data link control which is actually a bit oriented protocol for communication over point to point and multi point links now what does this it stands for like whatever we have seen till now in that uh, firstly we have worked on framing in that we have seen uh, the bitwise framing and bytewise framing there also we seen how how uh, whenever we go for framing how do we uh, match the addresses how do we mark the addresses of sender and receiver then how do we mark the start of the frame then end of the frame and then in error control what we have seen we need to send some redundant bits along with the data so error control madhe je apan crc baghitla so in crc what what actually we do apan data word getla ani tyacha pasun code word tayar kela tar code word manje kay hota ka data share related kahi tari 
इन्फॉर्मेशन होती जी आपण ट्रान्समिटर सोबत पाठवतो किंवा त्या डेटा सोबत पाठवतो सो अल्टिमेटली इन एरर कंट्रोल वी आर जनरेटिंग द रिडेंडंट बिट्स और एरर कंट्रोल बिट्स सो दोज बिट्स ऑल्सो वी विल सेंड देन इन फ्लो कंट्रोल वी सेंड फ्यू मोर बिट्स लाईक सिक्वेन्स नंबर इन दॅट वी से की अॅक्नॉलेजमेंट नंबर सो फ्रेमचा नंबर किती आहे तो त्याचा अॅक्नॉलेजमेंट आलंय का नाही आलं सो ती इन्फॉर्मेशन पण पाठवतो तर एच डी एल सी बेसिकली काय करत एच डी एल सी बेसिकली काय आहे हा बेसिकली एक हाय लेवल डेटा लिंक कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल आहे की ज्या प्रोटोकॉल मध्ये वी आर कंबाईनिंग ऑल दी फीचर्स ऑफ वॉट वी हॅव स्टडीड टेल नाव आतापर्यंत आपण जे काही काही बघितलेलं आहे की ज्याच्यामध्ये आपण फ्रेमिंग मध्ये बीट ओरिएंटेड बघितलं त्याच्यानंतर आपण एरर कंट्रोल मध्ये सीआरसीचे रिडंडंट बघितले आणि इकडं स्टॉप अँड वेट ए आर क्यू असेल किंवा कुठली एक घ्या गो बॅक अँड एम घ्या किंवा सिलेक्टिव्ह रिपीट घ्या ज्याच्यामध्ये आपण सिक्वेन्स नंबर बघितला डेटा सोबत सिक्वेन्स नंबर जोडलेला असतो त्याच्यानंतर डेटा सोबत अॅक्नॉलेजमेंट जोडलेला असतो सो हे जे काही ऍडिशनल नंबर ऑफ बिट्स आहेत म्हणजे काय तर थोडक्यात डेटा हा कधीच एकटा ट्रॅव्हल करत नाही डेटाच्या सोबत बऱ्याचशा ऍडिशनल बिट्सची जत्रा सोबत राहते सो वॉट वी हॅव टू डू वी हॅव टू कंबाईन ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन in a standard protocol in a standard format and that format was given by hdlc it is a high level data link control in which we basically use ata baga pahilatla jase apan teen part bagitle ata parant chala baste pahila bagitla framing tacha don part bagitle ek hota byte oriented dusra hota character oriented tat apan define kele ki byte oriented changla hai tacha nantar dusra format bagitla error control mhanje tacha madhe apan teen bagitle simple parity टू डायमेन्शनल पॅरिटी आणि सीआरसी त्यात आपण बघितलं की सीआरसी चांगलं आणि त्याच्यानंतर आपण फ्लो कंट्रोल बघितले ज्याच्यामध्ये सिम्पलेस्ट स्टॉप अँड वेट स्टॉप अँड वेट एआर क्यू त्याच्यानंतर गोबॅक अँड एन गोबॅक अँड एन प्रोटोकॉल आणि त्याच्यानंतर आपण शेवटचं बघितलं सिलेक्टिव्ह रिपीट सो ह्या सगळ्यांमध्ये आपण सिलेक्टिव्ह रिपीट जर समजा सिलेक्ट केला बिकॉज इट इज द बेस्ट प्रोटोकॉल सो हे तीन वेगवेगळे प्रोटोकॉल्स आहेत ज्याला जे लागतात डेटा ट्रान्समिशनसाठी प्रत्येकाचं काम वेगवेगळं आहे पहिला एक एक पहिला आहे तो नुसतं फ्रेमिंग करतो दुसरा आहे तो एरर डिटेक्ट करतो आणि तिसरा आहे तो फ्लो कंट्रोल करतो तर ह्या तिघांना एकत्र बांधायचं काम ह्या हाय लेवल डेटा लिंक कंट्रोल और एच डी एल सी फ्रेम फॉर्मॅटने केलेलं आहे नाव लेट इस गो थ्रू हाऊ दी हाऊ दी फॉर्मॅट ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर फ्रेम फॉर एच डी एल सी एस नाव बिफोर दॅट लेट इस अंडरस्टँड वॉट इन अंडर दी नॉर्मल रिस्पॉन्स मोड Uh, what, what are the ways of communication so here we have a uh, point to point communication now in that there are only two entities which take part into the communication it is only two entities asthil ek asthil system number 1 dusra asthil system number 2 kiwa ithe screen note ki dakhalele ek ahe primary dusra ahe secondary so primary and secondary uh, ekda define zalele asel ani primary हा जो असेल हा कमांड देतोय आणि सेकंडरी त्याला रिस्पॉन्ड करतोय सो दॅट काइंड ऑफ मोड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वी कॉल इट ऍज अ पॉइंट टू पॉइंट कम्युनिकेशन देन देअर इज नेक्स्ट मोड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वी रेफर ऍज अ मल्टी पॉइंट कम्युनिकेशन नाव हिअर देर इज ओनली वन प्रायमरी टर्मिनल विच गिव्ह यू कमांड्स ऑर विच फ्रॉम वेअर द ऍक्च्युअल डेटा ट्रान्समिशन हॅपन अँड रेस्ट ऑफ दी अदर देर आर मल्टिपल रिसिव्हर्स and those will be termed here as the uh, secondary receivers getting it then uh, there is third mode of communication also known as a synchronous balance mode now in that we uh, don't uh, bifurcate the device as primary and secondary we don't define that this one is sender this one is receiver everybody which is part of network is the combined form of transmitter as well as receiver like everybody can transmit everybody can receive so this kind of communication mode is called as a synchronous balance mode where uh, from one system there will be a command also and at the same time it is responding also to the data that it has received and similarly uh, there will be response from the next system as well manje kay tar ithe ek machine apla data transmit pan karta आणि त्याच सोबत दुसऱ्याने जर आपल्याला काही ट्रान्समिट केलेलं असेल आणि ते जर मशीन रिसिव्ह केलं असेल तर त्या रिसिव्ह डेटाला रिस्पॉन्ड पण करत गेटिंग इट समजतय का 
Can anybody give some help? Okay. okay, yes, sir. So, thank you, Snehal, Komal, thank you. Okay. Now, uh, let us go ahead with the file format for the HDLC frame. So, now HDLC frame is divided into three ways. Now, uh, there are three different formats for HDLC, and remember this. HDLC is a very, very like favorite questions for the examiners. Like they most mostly this question always asked in the examination. Or say alternately, say if suppose five papers are there, you will find in three papers you, this HDLC is been asked. HDLC frame been asked. So what is there in HDLC? So while transmitting the data, while the data is been uh, floating on the network or sent on the network, how this frame could be or how how uh, how we, how do we define the format of this frame? So the frame format here is defined in these three different types. That means, jahakai network kriti frame sapar til tumala HDLC madhe. Tab kya frame? Ya three na prakara cha frame asushakti. Kethi pahili prakara hai toh hai I frame. Dusra prakara hai S frame. Ani tisra hai tumsa U frame. So I frame here stands for the information frame in which actually the user information is there which is transmitted from one end to the other end manje jala transmission karaycha data cha ya sagyani pahilanda i frame use karaychi tyachanantar cha second ahe which is known as s frame which is uh, full form is supervisory frame manje hi frame jacha madhe kutli hi information naste tyacha madhe kutla hi data available nasto which is transmitting from one end to the another end it is just a supervisory frame which check whether any kind of error has occurred on the network, whether any kind of flow uh, problem is available on the network. So, fuck the network related, uh, supervisory ghost uh, everything is going good, whether the, uh, the data, it, gen generally where we do we require it, once we involve into the communication for the first time. So initially, whatever the handshaking happened, generally there do we go for this supervisory frame. Then followed by there is a U frame, which is known as undefined frame. In that, the management information will be there. Now, management information means what? Management information here stands for whenever we take part into the communication, we have to understand that uh, we need to deal with all, all the machines, that whatever the machines that are taking part into the communication, not all the machines are of same configuration. Sagrat's machine ekats configuration channels. There could be change in the language, there could be change in operating system, there could be change in uh, number of bits used in the system, there could be change in the speed of the system. Everything, every single parameter of a machine could be different than that of the much all the machines which are taking part into the communication so while establishing the connection while while we establish the connection between two machines we need to have certain management information which this is this management is nothing but the link management whenever we make certain connection what could be the speed what could be the uh, the the data format, what could be the number of frames to be kept in one frame. So all associated data, which will tell you how I am going to manage this communication. Ekha the communication manage karna sati, manje start person terminate karna parenta, begin person end hona parenta, whatever is required to manage the entire link between the two systems is this responsibility of this U frame. So U frame madhe apan management information takto, I frame madhe apan user information, manje jacha madhe actually data travel karto, T information aste, ani S frame hi fakta ek supervisory frame ahe. Is it, is it, is it clear? Lakshya tete ka barkatte? Yes sir, okay. Now, if you have observed it closely, the tiny frame madhe that tumi vyavasthit bagitla there is change in hardly one frame there is hardly change in only one field not frame actually ekach field madhe ith changes ahe otherwise all rest of the fields are same manje ka 
both the uh, all all three frames starts with the flag field pratyekacha shuruvat field cha frame cha shuruvatila flag navachi field ahe tyachanantar followed by address manje jacha madhe transmitter ani receiver doganchi information rahe followed by control tyacha madhe control navachi ek field add kelele tyachanantar i frame asel tar ti kay data pathavte fakt आय फ्रेम म्हणजे काय ज्याच्यामध्ये डेटा ऍक्च्युली ट्रॅव्हल करतो म्हणजे आता जर तुम्ही एक्झाम्पल घ्याल तर ओके सपोज सपोज यू टेक द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ द रेल्वे सो रेल्वे मध्ये सुरुवातीला जास्त इंजिन त्याच्यामध्ये पॅसेंजर्स ट्रॅव्हल करत नाही बट मधले जे सगळे डबे असतात ऑल 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 दि लाईक कंपार्टमेंट दे डू हॅव पॅसेंजर्स विच आर ऍक्च्युली ट्रॅव्हलिंग म्हणजे रेल्वे जर वाहतुकीचं साधन म्हटलं तर तिथं त्याच्यामध्ये डेटा म्हणजे कोण असणार आहे हे सगळे प्रवासी असणार आहे म्हणजे मधले सगळे डबे हे कोण असतील तर ते असतील आय फ्रेम्स म्हणजे आय फ्रेम ह्या अशा फ्रेम असतात नेटवर्क मध्ये ज्या सगळ्यात जास्ती सापडतात कारण त्या फ्रेम मध्येच फक्त डेटा असतो बाकी सगळ्या फ्रेम मध्ये डेटा अवेलेबल नसतो म्हणजे यस आणि यु फ्रेम मध्ये कुठलाही डेटा ट्रान्समिशन होत नाही यस फ्रेम हे अजून मधून येते म्हणजे तुमच्या टी सी सारखं की जी फक्त बघते की सगळं व्यवस्थित चाललंय का सुपरवायझरी ओनली वेदर द स्पीड इज ओके वेदर द एरर कंट्रोल इज ओके सो ऑल दिस बेसिक स्टप ओनली सुपरवायझर रोल विल बी डन बाय दिस यस फ्रेम आणि यु फ्रेम ही बेसिकली सुरुवातीला राहते की जे आणि एंडला की जी ठरवते की कनेक्शन सुरू कसं करायचं आणि कनेक्शन बंद कसं करायचं हाऊ टू एक्स्टॅब्लिश दी कनेक्शन हाऊ टू एक्स्टॅब्लिश दी लिंक बिटवीन दी टू सिस्टम अँड हाऊ टू टर्मिनेट दॅट पर्टिक्युलर लिंक ऑल्सो सो ऑल दॅट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी विल लाय विथ यु फ्रेम कळत इज इट गुड इज इट गुड लक्षात येत PPT is it not available? PPT? No. I just got a call. just a minute and more came out is it visible now सो आता तुम्हाला स्क्रीन वरती ज्या तीन तीन फ्रेम्स दिसत आहेत यू कॅन आयडेंटिफाय दॅट राईट द टॉप वन 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 इज युअर आय फ्रेम द सेकंड वन इज युअर यस फ्रेम अँड थर्ड वन इज युअर यु फ्रेम सो आय फ्रेम त्याच्यामध्ये बघा ब्ल्यू कलर मध्ये दाखवलेलं आहे इट्स युअर युजर इन्फॉर्मेशन यस फ्रेम मध्ये बघा देर इज नो इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्रान्समिटेड ओनली द कंट्रोल पार्ट इज देअर अँड दॅट इज वाईट इज नोन एज सुपरवायझरी फ्रेम आणि यु फ्रेम मध्ये बघा त्याच्यामध्ये वॉट इज दर इन यु फ्रेम यू हॅव द मॅनेजमेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन विच विल एन्शुअर दॅट द लिंक विल बी मॅनेज प्रॉपरली गेटिंग इट लक्षात येत येत हो सर ओके व्हेरी गुड नाव लेट अस गो वन बाय वन द फ्लॅग वॉट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय फ्लॅग फ्लॅग काय असेल फ्लॅग इज नथिंग बट युअर स्टार्ट ऑफ फ्रेम मग स्टार्ट ऑफ फ्रेम म्हणजे त्याच्या आतमध्ये काय असणार देर विल बी अ फिक्स्ड पॅटर्न इफ यू रिकॉल दिस इफ यू रिमेंबर वॉट वॉज आर स्टँडर्ड पॅटर्न इट वॉज झिरो फॉलोड बाय सिक्स वन फॉलोड बाय झिरो गेटिंग इट सो सुरुवातीला आपला जो पॅटर्न कसा होता स्टार्ट ऑफ फ्रेमचा की जी सांगते की फ्रेम सुरू झाली आणि फ्रेम एंड झाली so it was a zero followed by six ones followed by one more zero so 
तसा पैटर्न दिसला की आपण समजायचं की फ्रेम येणारी फ्रेम आहे ती दॅट हॅज स्टार्टेड इको प्रॉब्लेम हॅलो नो सर नो सर मीन्स इको येतोय का नाही येतोय नो 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 इट्स फाईन राईट आवाज येतोय ना या ओके मे बी मी टाईप करायला गेलो मेसेज त्यावेळेस माईक समोर आल्यामुळे बहुतेक इको आला असेल ओके सो वट वी हॅव सीन हिअर थ्री फ्रेम्स आय एस अँड यू फ्रेम नो लेट एस गो वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वी हॅव सीन फ्लॅग फ्लॅग म्हणजे काय तर स्टार्ट ऑफ फ्रेम आणि एंड ऑफ फ्रेम ज्याच्यामध्ये एक फिक्स्ड पॅटर्न असेल झिरो सिक्स टाइम वन फॉलोड बाय झिरो त्याच्यानंतर ऍड्रेस फील्ड येते ऍड्रेस फील्ड मध्ये वॉट विल बी देअर इन द ऍड्रेस फील्ड इट विल कंटेन ऍड्रेस सो इट विल हॅव ऍड्रेस ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स बाईट्स ऍड्रेस फॉर द ट्रान्समिटर ऍज वेल एज रिसिव्हर फॉलोड बाय कंट्रोल फील्ड नाव इट इज इम्पॉर्टंट हाऊ हाऊ दिस कंट्रोल फील्ड वर्क हे कंट्रोल फील्ड म्हणजे नेमकं काय असेल सो दिस इज हाऊ the control field look like okay so this is how the control field look like in that uh, you, you can see it uh, here on the screen the control field though the name here though the name here is same the control field it is same for i s and u but the information inside the control field is different for the different frame म्हणजे आय फ्रेम असेल तर कंट्रोल फील्ड वेगळी असेल एस फ्रेम असेल तर कंट्रोल फ्रेम वेगळी असेल आणि यु फ्रेम असेल तरी सुद्धा त्याच्यासाठी कंट्रोल फील्ड वेगळी असेल सो वेगळी म्हणजे काय हाऊ हाऊ डिफरंट इट इज सो हिअर फॉर आय फ्रेम इट विल स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट बिट ऍज झिरो म्हणजे ज्यावेळेस सगळ्यात पहिलं बिट झिरो असेल तर त्यावेळेस समजून जायचं की ती कंपल्सरी आय फ्रेम आहे त्याच्यानंतर जर पहिलं बीट वन असेल तर सेकंड बीट चेक करायचं पहिलं बीट जर वन असेल तर समबडी सेंग व्हॉइस इज नॉट क्लिअर नो समबडी सेंग क्लिअर आहे आय डोंट अंडरस्टँड वॉट इज झालं क्लिअर ठीक आहे आज आज आय आय कॅन सी दॅट देर आर फ्यू टेक्निकल एरर्स so this part i will i will repeat again by tomorrow don't worry hmm? so okay thank you so just and just and uh, let us go through this point only and then we will stop so we will uh, close this 5 minutes earlier today so that uh, you won't get irritated with this technical issues udar person lecture nahi kasa ऋषिकेश अरे दोन दिवस झालं तर या लागलं लगे लेक्चर नकोच का कोण म्हटलं नाही इज देर एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन हॅज समबडी टोल्ड यू युअर सी सी युअर एक्च्युली okay so uh, let us quickly finish this and then uh, uh, tomorrow i will start fresh with this again right so i frame s frame and u frame how to under- identify how receiver will understand because <coughs> sorry receiver kade baka tala flag disla tyachanantar address disla tar immediately control field asnarach hai ani control field he always it's all of 8 bits only so how a receiver will understand ki aleli frame g i ahe s ahe ka u ahe so in order to distinguish uh, between or uh, distinguish which kind of frame it is uh, so we initially give first two bits for the uh, understanding which kind of frame it is so pehla bit the zero asel so without any doubt the first bit if it is zero so without any doubt it is declared as it is an i frame if the first bit is 
then there is no conclusion as such whether it is yes frame or u frame second bit will be checked if second bit is zero and first bit is one then definitely it is an supervisory frame and then lastly it is your u frame for that first bit is one and second bit also is one so if both the bits are one then only it is understood as an u frame or the management frame and this is how we identify between the frames whether it is yes i frame s frame or u frame now apart from uh, the information to give or information to pass which kind of frame it is we also add a signal for ns and nr this basically will give you insights about what kind of information that you are receiving like whether it is from the receiver side or whether it is from the sender side like it like uh, as i told you here it could it could be both it could be a command or it could be a, a response so to nemka kay whether it is a command or it is a response manje kay to ha actually sender kadun pass zalele information hai kahi receiver kade alele information hai so for that kind of thing for that kind of knowledge we need to focus on this control field then apart from that there are one more bit called as uh, the uh, p oblique f so uh, it will it will give you uh, the insights about the error control as well so now i think uh, okay followed by this i uh, we also need to go ahead with the u frame control command as well so i think what we will do uh, we will we will uh, wait we will stop uh, here by today and uh, from tomorrow uh, i'll ensure that all those technical issues will be resolved and uh, we will be good to start without any kind of interruption in the lecture right so for today for today's case uh, we can stop here itself now before we conclude uh, let us let us take the attendance uh, okay uh roll number 1 is present 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 10 so roll number 12 is absent wait a minute Roll number twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It is present. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three is absent. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight is absent. Nine. Thirty, thirty-one and thirty-three. Thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-eight, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-six, and thirty-eight. Thirty-nine, forty is absent. Forty-four is absent. Forty-six, forty-seven is there. So from forty-seven to is that at the top? Fifty-three. No? Forty-seven was present. So forty-eight to fifty-two. Forty-eight to fifty-two was absent. Over is fifty-three, right? Fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six is absent. Okay, so uh, I don't think you can see this on screen. Now it is visible like this. So absent numbers are twelve, twenty-three, twenty-eight, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-eight. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर अटेंडिंग दिस and uh, sorry for these technical issues from tomorrow onwards uh, we will we will go fine without any problem right i will take care of that